Hey guys, Dr. Glenn here. Just wanted to give you a quick tour of the operating room. This is where we do robotic uh, procedures. Uh, I've got some staff here setting up for a procedure right now. Uh, and uh, here's our anesthesiologist. Say hi, Dr. Wilm. Uh, this is where he sits. You can see he's got all his uh, instruments and monitors and everything here uh, for the patient. This is a patient bed, okay? We have quite a few monitors here in the room where we can monitor what's happening with the, with the surgery. Um, and uh, the staff can see what I see inside the, uh, inside the patient while I'm doing the procedure. We've got some other instrumentation over here, um, including a, a gas supply for laparoscopic surgery. It does require us to blow up the abdomen of the patient with some gas. That allows us to do that. We have a, a Bovi generator or electrocautery that allows us to do cauterization uh, during, during the procedure. And then uh, over here, you can see the staff setting up uh, with robotic instruments and um, other necessary supplies and instruments and sponges, things like that for the procedure. And I'll give you a closer look at that in a second. On this side of the room, you can see we have our uh, robot. This is the Intuitive Da Vinci XI platform. It has four robotic working arms. Now, when I'm doing the procedure, from my console, which is back here in the corner. This is connected to some instruments that are uh, attached to the patient. And uh, I am able to control these uh, remotely from this console. This actually gives me enhanced uh, vision and ability to do some complicated dissections that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do, okay? We keep a few supplies in the room, but we have a different room here in the in the surgery center that keeps all the all the main supplies okay as we go over to the uh, um, instrument tray you can see all the different instruments that are used here for surgery all the, all the robot, okay. arms. robot arms etc all right guys i just wanted to show you a comparison between standard laparoscopic instruments and the robotic instruments so this would be a, your standard um, laparoscopic instrument. It rotates, so I can move it in or out, left and right. And it has this jaw that opens and closes to allow for grasping. You can do a little manipulation and dissection with this instrument, okay? That's compared to this. This is a typical robotic uh, grasper. You can see this one uh, has the same grasping motion, um, opens and closes. But this instrument also has, so I can get this here. It also has the this wristed function in it, where it can you can basically go around, and it more correctly mimics the motion of a hand or a wrist. So that extra added um, motion or just you know manipulation of the instrument really allows uh, for a much safer and complete dissection. For me as a surgeon, I, uh, I just feel like I can do a lot more with it. Certainly we can do a lot of procedures that just with the standard classic, you know, laparoscopic instruments, but this just allows for um, a lot better um, predictability in certain procedures, which is why I like to do my, my surgeries uh, in the robotic way.